This fight takes place on the undercard of the Muhammad Ali Buster Mathis fight, and both Shivalo and Williams are in the twilight of their careers. Williams is 38 years old and is two months removed from a decision loss to Jack O'Halloran, while Shivalo is coming off a dull effort and losing to Jimmy Ellis on points. Uh, both fighters are considered washed up by this point, and reporter Bill Lee felt that the promoters should have been arrested for putting this fight on, uh, calling the 34 year old Shivalo the best catcher since Bill Dickey. Uh, Chevalo has changed the colors of his robe in the hopes of changing his luck, and he believes that if he defeats Williams here, he will get another shot at Muhammad Ali. Both trying to register comebacks, survival actually, as Williams goes to work early, neither one has finesse. They both rely on the heavyweight punch. Cleveland Williams trying to get a Chivalo early here in round one from the Astrodome. Chivalo himself has fought three times for the heavyweight championship of the world. Once against Muhammad Ali, the other against Ernie Terrell, and the third time against Joe Frazier. Chivalo trying to work in the body early. As I mentioned, neither one, neither fighter, with great finesse. As a matter of fact, Harry Markson, the president of Madison Square Garden Boxing, said 10 to 15 years ago, these two fighters would have been a matchmaker's dream. Chivalo. At one time in his career, Cleveland Williams had a great left hook, meaning that a fighter can be knocked down four, five, six times, you count them, it will still have to be by the knockdown. The three knockdown rule has been waived. The 10 point system is in effect. As we begin round two from the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. Chevalo trying to come back as Williams goes with the counter punching. Chevalo trying to register that beautiful right hook as he ties uh, Williams up now. The big cat staggering to the near ropes. And Keel asks for a break in round two. Chevalo with the wild left hook. These two fighters between them have knocked out 113 opponents in a long career. Chevalo trying to go to work now on Williams as they come back to center ring. White trunks, Cleveland in black. Round three begins with Chevalo bruised under the right eye. Cleveland wink, Big Cat Williams bleeding at the nose at the end of round two. The Big Cat at 229. Chevalo 227. Evenly matched as far as the weight is concerned. The cat trying to come back now against Chevalo, who had the best of him in round two here at the Astrodome. Some heavy slugging now between Williams and Chevalo as they tie up at center ring and the referee Earl Keel asks for a break. Both fighters. Chevalo stays with him. Body punching by Chevalo. A wild left. Again, to remind you that Chevalo is 34, Cleveland Williams 38. And the close shot will show you that Chevalo is cut under both the right and left eye. So far, Chevalo, as Howard mentioned, handling the cuts under both eyes rather well as he rocks Williams back into the near corner. The cat coming out now with the left hook. And Cleveland wants to tie him up. 15 seconds remaining in round four.
This one scheduled for 10 between Chevallo and Williams. As Chevallo. Chevallo working on the body now. A flurry of left and right by Chevallo. Muhammad Ali watching from his dressing room as round five ends at the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. Seven pounds against Cleveland Big Cat Williams to 29 and a half. The fans react in the Astrodome. Nickel beer night as uh, the Big Cat tries to come out with some action against Chevallo as we've just opened round six. Cleveland Williams has won 75. He has lost 11. One draw. He has knocked out 56 in his career that spans some 20 years. Williams trying to work now on Chevallo. Muhammad smiling. Howard, are both fighters tiring? Both fighters have been tired for the past three rounds. They are advanced in years, as you've noted, Dan. In the second round, Chevallo really staggered Williams with a right. And Williams appeared in trouble earlier in this round, but has worked his way out of it now. Would like to finish it here. Now the cat coming back. A flurry of punches. Right, left, as it goes to Chevallo and stuns him. And Chevallo takes him to the ropes and they break. And the big cat ties him up as Keel breaks them at center ring. Both fighters, needless to say, very tired here in round eight at the Astrodome at Houston, Texas. This, the eighth round. Chevallo coming back to Williams now. As they tie up for nine. Chevallo swinging wildly, now tying up Williams. Chevallo with a flurry of punches. Working on the body, back to the head, back to the body. Now less than a minute remaining in round number nine. Chevallo. So far, the Canadian heavyweight champion outclassing the big cat. Referee Earl Keel calling for both fighters at center ring. Round 10, the Astrodome, Chevallo in white, Williams in black trunks. Earlier in tonight's fight, Chevallo was cut under both eyes. Chevallo trying to go at the big cat. Williams hoping only now to hold on until the end of round 10. Keel, the referee, asking for a break. Less than 20 seconds remaining. Chevallo, unable to take out the big cat in 10 rounds. The same can be said for Cleveland Williams. Two big, powerful heavyweights. The bell ending round 10 from the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. The referee is Earl Keel as we look at Chevallo in the far corner. The judges are Jimmy Webb and Ernie Taylor. Unanimous 10-round decision for George Chevallo, the Canadian heavyweight champion. Unanimous 10-round decision over Cleveland Big Cat Williams here at the Astrodome in Houston. Chevallo does get another shot at Ali after this win, facing the greatest six months later and losing a 12-round decision. Uh, Williams has three more fights after this, uh, winning the Texas heavyweight title from Terry Daniels. If you want a more extended look at both fighters, I will link to both of their documentaries below if you haven't seen it already. And I'll see you in the next one.